particularly at a time as now, at a time when there are all kinds of political fighting in parties that are not in government. For this party to have done this, Mr. Belgium, is a credit to you and your organization. Yeah. I want to also particularly commend also to the young, the young Pemala Dance Group, sponsored by SIS and to <laughs> it was tough for me to say that myself. <laughs> I think they are wonderful. That's true. I want to say to them, they have a very bright future. And of course, with the driving and the cultural group, it's the first time I have ever heard a blend between the steel band and the man. I've never heard this before. And put it, I want to tell you. This for me would be a lasting experience. Thank you very much. But having said all of that, you have been told that year after year, you are in the festival of light, light over darkness. And many a time I ask myself, if they had true darkness, true, true darkness in this world, forget the fact that you wouldn't see people like me at the chamber of the IRB. But if you had two darkness, <laughs> if you had two darkness in this world, would it a dear help? And the answer is yes. Because wherever there is darkness, one beam of light helps. The point I'm making, however, is that never before in this country have we been as dark as we are today. Look at the economy for yourself, you'll see. Look at the crime. Look at the corruption. Look at the unemployment. Look left, right, and center. And tell you, ask yourself if there's anything you have to be proud of. And answer will be no. Because the country as a whole, from where I stand at least, seems to be heading into a sea of darkness. And in all of this, here you have the youngest political party bringing a way of life, bringing a beacon of hope to the young. I listened to Sidney Malabia tonight. I have known him for about five years and never have I heard him spoken better as a new perspective for the world. I said to myself, therefore, that this party has to be good at us. But more importantly, Your Excellency, more importantly, as you said time and time again, this cultural mix, this mosaic, has never been had before. It's a first. And I know it was for hard work, but at the end of the day, nothing in life comes easy, because easy come, easy go. You have to understand that there is no substitute for hard work. No. And therefore, I want to urge the IRB to use this festival not only for what it is, of course, it's right, but let every day in this country be a divine in its own right. Let every day in this country, this beacon of change, this light, shine to remove the darkness which has enveloped this country. Let the event itself ends on November the 10th, next Tuesday. But after Tuesday, don't let the ceremony end. Each time you walk, listen to His Excellency. Each time you walk, you show respect, you give forgiveness. If I didn't, if I didn't practice forgiveness, many a post would have been dead today. <laughs> sure, but because he felt that I, I practice forgiveness, and I listen to His Excellency, the fact is that you have to forgive. If even you don't forget, but for God's sake, forgive. And then this festival, I'm saying, help you to do that. So as I end, political leader, I want to say it gives me great pleasure tonight to attend your first public function. To see the success it has been, I want to commend your dear husband, the Raja and the Indian, right, for the help that he has given you no doubt and support. And for all those in your committee and executive who have helped to make this event a success, it has been shown to us.